My earliest musical memories are with my family making house music. We had neighbors who played the saxophone and the accordion. They would come over and we would all stand around the piano and the Hammond organ and sing. I've always been a sound freak. I was about 10 when I started composing uh, on my own, first by taking books and so on and placing them on top of the Hammond organ to make clusters, taking the bottom off of the piano and reaching inside, recording it with my parents' Bell and Howell cassette recorder. At 15 and 16, I was already studying with Murray Adaskin, a wonderful violinist. So I was writing rather complex neoclassical music. Timbre Mirage is central to my work. The idea that you hear a sound that is almost like the sound of something else, and you pass between different colors with the same tone, but the color change is very small. I go wherever my imagination takes me. I write pieces for children, cabaret songs. I work in theater, I work in dance, work with symphony orchestras and smaller groups. Among the highlights of my collaborations, without question, have been my work with Atama Goyen, especially Elsewhereless, a chamber opera that I wrote with him since 1998. But I'm working on another opera with him now called Showroom, and I'm very excited about the concert premiere in June. I was asked to write a special piece for Stephen Sondheim's 80th birthday, a transformation along with several other composers. I chose a duet between a mother and her son. It's called Beautiful, and it's from Sunday in the Park with George, where the mother and son discuss the nature of the transience of life and of the impermanence of all things. My mother had just died. I booked time at the Banff Center I put myself in isolation and I wrote the piece very easily over about six days. The Walter Carson Prize is given only once every four years in music. It was wonderful to have the recognition and sudden interest from people who otherwise wouldn't have known my music. I'm very gratified by the, uh, not only the success in the outer world, that is to say concerts and, and recordings, but also about the kind of success that is most important to do something that is truly artistically and personally fulfilling, to follow my imagination wherever it goes.